Yes, everyone outside there who is watching me on BTN TV. Much regards to everyone. As usual, I'm Teacher Fred. I'm going to take you through a mathematics lesson. As I take you through mathematics lesson, our candidates outside there and any other class, not specifically only candidates, but every child who is at home who has already started schooling, I urge you to carry out your revision as we wait for the time that the government allocated us before we resume for schools if things normalize. So as we are staying home for all this maths year, I would encourage every child outside there, please don't just sit, be revising what your teacher has taught you previously in different subjects, not specifically only one subject. Be going through your work that you're having for even other classes. You are in P5, revise what is there in P4, revise what you learned in P3, revise from a baby class up to the level where you are. If it happens when P6 then continues to carry out research and revise from baby class work up to P6. Such that by the time schools open, you may not be stuck with some content. At least we want you to be covering out revision in order for you to keep updated. You have to update yourself every time just like, yeah, you know. So, Let's go through this question here. Today's lesson, I want us to look at uh, how to write uh, uh, writing and uh, reading and uh, comparing whole numbers. That is what we are going to look at specifically. And uh, as I kick off with this area, I promise that we shall be now looking at the areas in relation with the different classes. We may have some examples relating to different classes in case the topic cuts across all the classes. For example, the area we are going to look at today, it cuts across almost every classes in the primary section. So I would like us to look at the examples and we see what is the difference in these examples that we are going to look at. You realize that content in mathematics is ever the same, but it's just a matter of, uh, a matter of adjusting some areas a little bit. So as we kick off, let's switch our minds to today's lesson which says reading, writing, and comparing whole numbers. So when does to look at that, this is, this is a topic, and uh, under this topic, we have got what we call place values. So today's lesson, I want us to look at place values. It will be the area for today, place values. That will be our lesson for today. I want us to look at that. I want to see how can you write the place value or identify the place value of every digit. And when, you, when they talk about place value, first of all, we need to ask ourselves, what do they mean by place value? Because you can't answer. The first thing you need to do is to understand what the question wants and what the question is after. What does the question mean? You have to interpret it. You have to understand all the terminologies that have been used in a, the question. So in this moment, or at this moment, I would like us to look at the word place value. Simply, what do they mean? First of all, the word place value, we are actually having two words. We have a place, we have a value. So when you bring them together, we shall come out with place value. And when we talk about place value, simply this is what we mean. A place value is a position of a digit in a number. A place value is a position of a digit in a number or in a given number. There is no position that holds more than two digits in a number. Every position has its own digit. So the position that the digit has taken in a certain number is what we call a place value. A number of digits. But a digit 
doesn't contain a number of numbers. No. A number can contain a number of digits. And each digit in that number is what we are referring to as a place value of a number or a place value of a digit in a number. So when us look at these numbers, all these examples that they have given us, when you look at the first example, they said, write the place value of each digit in the following numbers. So we want to look at this. We want to look at the place value of each digit in the following numbers. When we look at our numbers, the first number they have given us one, two, four, three. This is 1,200. 43. They want us to write the place value of this number. Uh, when you flash back for those who are in P6, P5, and P4, when you flash back to P3 work, you realize that we were writing place values of these numbers. Even when you try to cross-check your book, you realize that you used to write uh, place values of numbers uh, which are contains at least four digits. Then later on, for those who are in P5, you can also recall what you used to do in P4. You realize that you used to write the place values of digits, uh, place value of numbers containing around five digits. Though some schools, they went and you find out that they even wrote for six digits, but you realize that it was for five digits, three digits, and so on, most likely. Then when you're in P5, when we look at this, you realize that in P5, you realize this. Then when you're in P6, when you're in P6, you realize that in P5, last year, you looked at writing digits or writing place value of digits of different numbers that contain five digits. That's what you used to do last year. Now, this year, as we grow, now what can you observe here? As you go to another level, we only keep on adding some values. But there is nothing big that changes completely. Because from P3, I've been writing place values. P4, P, actually from P1, you've been writing place values. P2, you're writing. P3, you're writing. P4, P5, P6, and so on. So we are looking at this content that we have been looking at since we started from P1. Before I go to example one or Roman one, I would also write, I like to write the definition of place value, whereby we shall say a place value as value is a digit of a place value is a position of a digit is a position a place value position of a digit in a given. So when we look at this, we have said a place value, a place value is a position of a digit in a given number. For example, when you look at example one, Roman uh, section A, it has one, two, three, four digits. Now, we want to identify the difference between a number and a digit. When we look at this, this is a whole, uh, from one up to three, this is a number. This is a number. But when we come to this number, it has got how many digits? This is what we are calling digits. One, two, three, four. So, this number has got four digits. It is a one number with four digits. So the sum applies here. All this from here up to here. This is one number. But this number has five digits. 
And where are those digits? I would say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this number has got 5 digits. When we come to this, this is one number containing 6 digits. When we come to this, you realize that this is a number containing 9 digits. Or a 9 digit number. Sometimes we call it a 9 digit number. Sometimes we call this a 60 digit number. Uh, sometimes we call this a, f uh, a five digit number. Then this is a four digit number. So let's come to this and let's say example. The first example, we have got a number with four digits. That is to say, we have one, two, four, three. So after identifying our number, or after bringing our number there, we want to look now at the positioning of these digits here. This is mostly in P3 class. If you're outside there and you're in P3 class, please take care. P3, P4, it is the same idea that we are going to use. P5, the same idea. P6, we use the same idea. So be lenient enough while following the reason. Don't say this example is for P3 and you ignore. No. When they set national exams, they set from P1 up to P6, pri uh, primary living examination, meaning that you have to answer all the content that lies in it primary. So, even if it is for P3, it is not of a surprise to find it in a national paper. So let's look at the first one. We want to position here. We shall have the first degree here. We have the second. We have the third. Lastly, we have the fourth digit. So after all this, I'll come here and level this. Then I will sell. The first digit will come up here. I'll position the second digit. I'll still level them. The position of the third digit. At the same time, I'll also tell them the position of the fourth digit. It may not look so balanced. It may not look so balanced, and we need our work to look somehow organized. When you are drawing these lines, please, I advise you to use a ruler. So when we look at that, we have got our four digits here. For one number, that is A, we want now to give them the positions according to the where they are arranged. So they, we shall always start from the last digit, which will always take the least position of ones. So here, this takes the position of ones. From ones, we shall go and count in tens. Here we come in group of tens from there. We shall go to groups of hundreds. From groups of hundreds, we shall leave hundreds, then we go to groups of thousands. So when we reach here, we shall be dealing with thousands. Thousands. So this is how we position our digits. The first one, it will take the position of ones followed by tens, followed by hundreds, followed by thousands. Just like sometimes some people identify them by saying this is it. ones, tens, hundreds, thousands. Such that somebody knows where there is ones, where there is all, represents ones. Where there is T, represents tens. Where there is H, represents hundreds. The where there is one with it will be representing thousands that is what is supposed to be done then from there i'll use the same idea that i've used on a to 
sort of out B. B, they said, we also find the digits or the place value of each digit in B. And in B, we have 34,867. So I'll come here and say, solution B. Solution B. Solution B, I'll have my 34,867. And when you look at the number, its highest digit is in place value of more than 1,000. So I have to use the ideology that we have used on section A to work out section B. Now when we come to section B, we shall also draw the same table and identify the positioning. So then I'll get my ruler. I'll start drawing positions. I'll say which position is six belonging to, which position is eight belonging to at the same time, which position is four belonging to, then lastly, I also have to ask myself which position is three taking. So from there, I'll make sure my work is balancing and appearing to be neat. By drawing these lines using my ruler to make sure that my work looks organized. And lastly, I'll summarize with this one. So let's look at that number and I'll see what to do. In A, our number had only four digits. Then the difference between A and B, it is a simple difference. This one has got more digits than A, but the procedures will remain the same. So if this one was taking the position of ones, then it means the first digit on the second example will take the same position. And that will be ones. According to what we did here, we said the sec from the first group, we shall be counting ones. Then the second group, we shall be counting in tens. Then the next group, we said we shall be counting in a hundred. So I will say this takes the position of a hundred. Then from there, at the same time, I'll come to four. I'll ask myself from a hundred, where do I go? Ideologically, when you compare the first number and the second number, you realize that from 100, we shall extend to 1,000. So from there, come to 1,000. So say this will take the position of 1,000. It takes a position of thousands. Then from thousands, where do we go? That is now my question to those who are watching us outside there. I mean candidates and those kids of ours or pupils of ours that are in P1, P2, P3, P4, P5, P6. Those who are watching us. Now from a thousand, where do you think we are now going? From a thousand, from the groups of thousand, we shall now go to 10 groups of thousands. So from there we shall say here, this will take the position of 10 thousands. 10 thousands. Here we shall be counting in 10 thousands. Meaning that here, if we say we are counting in 10 thousands, in tens, actually, we are counting, we are now in it. For example, we can say, we can't say this is 3,000. No, 3,000, it is, it, is, it is not in position where this three is. When you look at this, we are now, if we are treating this in words, we shall say this is 34. 
thousand. So when you just consider thousands, this one here, only thousands, you'll find out that three is taking the position of ten thousand. That is what it means. Then from there, I'll get my Roland and line. My question before, I mean my answer before I go to another. I'll have to underline everything to separate my examples. That is one A and one B. One A and one B. So from there, I'd like us to continue to example section, actually example one, section C, where we are also given a number with more than five digits. Here there are six digits. Remember we started with four, we come to five, now I want us to go to six. So solution C Solution C we have to identify our numbers first and we shall say the first one is 186 186034 So let's look at this when you look at example one, it had only four digits. Example two had only five digits. Now we are coming to example three, it has got six digits. What does it mean? This is mostly likely applied in P3. When we come to P4, you'll find out that we shall come up to here. Then in P5, we shall come up to hundred thousand. So as we come to 100,000, I want us to see how can we position everything according to the way how digits are arranged. For us to identify this, I'll have to say, let me draw this simple table of mine to enable me arrange my work well and identify the positioning of these digits as we arrange or as we look for the positioning of these digits, put this in consideration. Our pupils outside there. As you know, the lockdown has been a little bit extended for our own good, for our own health. So as we're still at home, waiting for what will follow, I would encourage every candidate, every student, or not only candidates, every child, every pupil who is at home to be taking at least every day some notes down and revise something. Don't revise only one subject. Revise all the subjects that you have been learning or studying at your school. I know at least even if you have missed what is there today. You might have maybe even switched on your TV late, but I would advise you always to take a step to revise something in different subjects as well. Though I don't advise you to miss any lesson on BTN TV, just as it is scheduled and everyone is aware of the time that the lesson is beginning at. You are aware we have two lessons, science and the morning, just yes, that is at 9 a.m. and at 3 p.m. we have science. And the morning you have lessons by teacher Fred late uh, in the afternoon, that is at 3. You have also lessons by teacher Bosco. Please, Stay tuned always for our programs. They will be for your own advantage. We are looking for all ways to see that at least you access the service. But as you access this service, I would encourage you, please revise what you have. Revise the work that you did in other behind classes. Because setting doesn't consider only one class. So let's look at this. 
When we look at uh, this number here, we shall realize that we have a number which contains more digits than the numbers we have worked out before. So if that is the case, we would wish to look at it and we see how can we position every digit in this number. So we shall follow the same procedure. I will first of all say one, two, three, comma. I follow the same procedure that like the way we used on example A, B to attack example C or to work out example C. So from there, I will say four will take the position of ones just like the way we did. So I will say four is taking the position of ones. Then three will take the position of tens. Zero will take the position of a hundreds. It's already explained the area from example one and example two. Then when we continue from a hundreds, we shall say we go to a thousands. According to what we have been doing, so this takes the position of a thousand. And what is that? Six. Six takes the position of thousands. Then when we come to eight, we'll take the position of ten thousand, even according to this question here. A position of ten thousand. We have now exhausted all the positions that were existing on example B or section B. Now, since we have exhausted all these positions, here in C, we have now another new position which we need to find out. From ones, we have gone to tens. From tens, we have gone to hundreds. From hundreds, we have gone to thousands. From thousands, we have gone to ten. Now, when we reach ten thousand, which position are we going to? Is now what we are looking at. Remember, you have now known how to find out this. Now we need to find out the next position here. So for us to be in position, identify the next position, we shall consider the nearest place value, which is 10,000. So from 10,000, we shall go to what we call 100,000. So from there, I'll come here and say, the next position will be 100. So that will be the next position for the next number. It will take the position of 100,000. Then from there, that is now P5. Those who, have, uh, those who are already in P5, I'm very sure or I'm much sure that by, uh, by the time the lockdown came out, we had already covered this in previous schools. I'm sure of that. If your teachers at all, they are following the same curriculum of the nation, you must have already done this. Then from there, I would like us to extend to another level. That is now Roman D. What does Roman D say? They want us to write 984, 386, 687. They want us to find the... So for us to find the each digit of this, uh, the place value of each digit in this number, and which number is that? This is 984 millions, 386 thousand, 687. They want us to find the place value of this number. So for us to find the place value of this number, we shall, and we first of all, identify the positions which we have already identified in section C. So I'll say, Solution to section D. Solution to section D. This said they have 984 million 386. 386. 600. 689. So we want to identify the position of each digit here. I'll simply first get my ruler 
I draw some simple lines here to enable me to arrange my work well. As I arrange it, you, who is watching outside there? As I draw a line, I think you have to be telling the answers. Which position is here? Which position is here? Which position is here? I think you have to be now writing. You can be writing the answers down. By the time, I also begin writing mine. If you are not writing answers, you can be telling. If you are sitting with your friend, you, with your brother, with your sister, or your parent, you can as well be telling them the answer. Tell them what the teacher Fred is assigning now. This three is taking this place value. Tell them that this four is now trying to underline. It is going to take the place value of. You tell them. Then from there, when we are working it out, they will prove you correct or they will prove you wrong. And when you fail, that one doesn't, it should not demoralize you. It should then demoralize you. That one doesn't mean you are not okay. That one simply means you are working hard towards what you need. So from there, we shall come to the first position here. Uh, since these digits are very many, I may not put everything on the same line. The space may not be enough such that I can cater for the space of everything. As I'm working out, you are telling them answers. Which position is that? Everyone, you can now tell your mother or your father or your sister or your brother the position of nine, you know now. Because we are just using the way we were writing on the first number. Okay? From there, we shall come to this. This was you have to tell that. P4s, where are you? P5s, you have to be telling the answers. Now we come to P6 members. You have to be knowing all that. At least from here up to here, you have to be in position to be telling answers. And from there, I also have to come and identify this position for revision purpose. This position for revision purpose. So when you look at that, we want to identify the positions of all this. So for us to identify all the positions of those digits there, we shall just do the way we have been identified on the first numbers. So we shall come here and identify the position of 9, we go to 8, we go to 6 and so on, such that we complete all these numbers. Or I mean all these digits. These are not numbers. These are digits. Here we have, this is only one number. It is only one number, but it has nine digits. So it is a nine. So from there, we shall identify as usual. We say 10 will take the place value of ones, followed by the place value of tens, followed by the place value of a hundreds. Just like the weight is moving. Then followed by the place value of a thousand. From there, it will continue, followed by the place value of 10,000. From 10,000, we have said we go to 100,000. We shall say from there, we shall go to 100, 100,000. So we have started from ones followed by tens, a hundreds, thousands, ten thousand, a hundred thousand. Just like when you look at Roman C, that is where we ended. Now I want us to increase the relationship between Roman 1 or section A, B. When you look at section A, we stopped at 1000. When you look at section B, we stopped at 10,000. When you continue 
to say we stopped at 100,000. The relationship just continues. The positioning just continues. Then from there, we shall now come to look at D. Want us to see which positions are we going on ahead from where we ended. So from, uh, from 10,000, we have come to 100,000. Now from 100,000, the next position for P6 members who have been in, in class. For the period we had at school this year, I think you know the position. What is the position? You who is watching, can you tell the brother or the mother or the father, those ones whom you are watching with the outside there, which position are we going to? Yes, I think they have heard you. So from there, we shall come to millions. The next position will be millions. The next position will be millions. Then from millions, we want to look at the next relationship. The next relationship from millions, we shall go to 10 millions. We shall go to 10 millions. Now what is coming in your minds? When we reached to thousands, we went to 10,000. Now here we have reached millions. Now from millions, we are going to 10, 000, uh, 10 millions. Just like from thousands, we went to 10 millions. Then, I mean from thousands, we went to 10,000. Then here, millions to 10 millions. Now, from thousands, we went to 100,000. What do you think would be here? What do you think is going to be here? So if we have millions and we come to 10 millions, then it means the next step will be 100 millions. 100, 100 millions. 100 millions. So 9 takes the place value of 100 millions. Somebody is outside there now asking, now from millions, where do we go? Yes, from millions, you will again continue from there. At your next level, you will find out that you will go to billions. When you go to billions, you realize that eh, you will go to uh, uh, 10 billions. From 10 billions, you will find out that you will go to 100 billions. From 100 billions, you will find out that you will go to a trillion. From a trillion, you will find out that you will go to 10 trillions. From trillion, uh, 10 trillions, you will go to 100 trillions. So on, so on, on. And we shall continue from there. As you grow up and as you develop in minds academically, as you increase on levels academically, that one also helps you to discover more. So, work hard to ensure that you move to another step. Meanwhile, as I almost wind up, let me give you the second example and I end here. My second example. My second example. Example 2 says, BTN TV has 489 million 848,487 people following their programs on different journals write the, write the place value of each digit of the number of people shown up, uh, above so look at this when you look at this question here they are talked of number of people in the question here they are 489 million 848,484 people. So the one does to write the, the, uh, the position or the place value of each digit in this number here. So the one does to identify that. I'll come here and say this is the same as this question apart from the statement. Here they have phrased it in a statement form it is not direct like the way they say write the place value of this no here they have given you a, a lot of statement a big statement there then from there you have to read and identify what does the question really require us to do for instance here 
what is more important when you look at the statement uh, you'll find out that the number of people is required when you are answering at the same time what are we going to answer as we are answering we shall also have to look at the place value of each digit in the number and now our number in this case becomes the number of people okay so the number of people are the ones we are going to identify their places the digits that they have given us here so i'll come here and say the digits are which digits do i have so we shall have to identify the number of people who are in the question after identifying the number of people in the question shall be in position to give the position of each digit so we are going to identify the position or the place value of each digit here as the question requires us to do so as i'm lines down here I expect you to be telling your friend whom you are seated with the position of 7. Which position is 7 taking? Which place value is this 8 taking? Which place value is 4 taking? Which place value is this 8 taking? Which place value is this 4 taking? Just be telling the person you are seated with. And which place value do you think this 8 is also taking? At the same time, I want you to tell the friend whom you are with, or the parent, the place value of this digit. At the same time, I want you to tell them, again, the place value of this digit. As per now, I expect everyone to be able to tell these digits, because it is just the same, like as an example which we have just completed earlier. So from here, I'll say I'll have to identify my digits or my positions basing on the question so from there we shall have to proceed with this we shall have to proceed with this let's look at the first example uh, the first example with roman c and roman d and almost give us what the ideology of how to handle example two so from there we all now know this will take the place value of ones followed by tens followed by a hundred followed by thousands ten thousand from ten thousand we shall go to a hundred So when you look at the word thousand is appearing three times thousand 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 so it means from thousand we go to ten thousand we go to a hundred thousand so after that we shall come to million from millions we shall go to ten millions ten millions from ten millions we shall go to a hundred a hundred millions if we left here so this makes the end of the second example and as it makes the end of the second example i would also require to give you some simple exercise not simple i would like to give you an activity site that you can also practice where you are right away from p4 when you p4 up to p6 i expect you to be able to handle this so i'll say Activity, but before we go to the activity part of it uh, in case you are outside there you have been following us on btn and you realize that the lesson has been going on well or not well according to your observation and you would wish maybe to make a comment you are allowed would you wish to make any inquiry you are allowed would you wish to ask any question related to what we've done you are allowed please simply if you have whatsapp just come on this number and whatsapp your question relating to what we have covered you will be 
helped. Please, I advise you and I encourage you to use WhatsApp messages or direct messages. I will get back to you. I will answer you. This is my personal number that I can help you to handle what you want me to handle. Please, you also allowed. We appreciate those who appreciate what we do. For the parents and some kids who have been following the program and they have been asking questions relating to what we have been doing, I'm very sure at least 99% or 90%, 99 percent have been replied and have been helped however with the activity or the exercises but that has been given to you i told you earlier i'm not marking them it is your mathematics teacher who will mark them i'm also marking pupils from the school where i teach it is very impossible it cannot be possible at all for one person to mark all the pupils who are watching or following this program for the whole country. It is totally impossible. That's why I always encourage you and refer you for the case of marking, you drop your work to your mathematics teachers. Still, your teacher is responsible for helping you regardless of the situation uh, we know the situation may not be all that good but nothing to do nothing to do no alternative because it is a calamity it is a natural calamity that has forced everything to be upside down we don't blame our directors outside there for the directors of different schools that have not managed to maintain the contract till the end. It is really so understanding as private issues are concerned. But still, my request to the directors outside there, I would request you still to be in touch with your teachers, such that teachers will be in position to help these kids in this crisis. It is a period of sacrifice, love, and a togetherness that we can overcome the situation. Let's move together, everything will come to an end. Meanwhile, we recognize the prevention measures that the government is always giving us to control the situation. So let me summarize with my activity here as I still refer to the number in case of any inquiry. My activity says write write the place value write the place value in, in the following in the following numbers in the following numbers one seven eight six three uh, two nine two three six two four Lastly, number four, second last, seven, eight, two, two, seven, eight, two, two. So from there, the last number will be four, six, eight, seven, three. So I'd like, I'd like whoever has been following the program, write this exercise and submit it to your teacher he will help you he will help you to guide you 
on what is supposed to be done. Meanwhile, as I summarize my lesson, I take this opportunity to recognize BTN staff and the sponsors of the program for everything that is going on. May God bless you as we reach our kids outside there. Please, let's move together. I wish you well as we tune on for the next program. Thank you.